I think there are two main problems concerned with diagnosis for patients with um, homocystinuria. And I think these are first a problem of awareness and people thinking of the correct test to be done. And that's really where the journey began and since then it's just kind of been um, learning about homocystinuria, trying to comply with the diet and so forth. It's been a long journey to get there. but There is often a significant delay in diagnosis which then means that damage has been done and that the treatment in due course is less effective. Uh, although she had some symptoms, uh, she was not she was not diagnosed. My single greatest hope for both my children's future is that we keep the condition under control and we continue to manage it as best we can and in the future I hope that there might be a cure but I don't know. The big problem in the diagnosis uh, of HCU is the lack of clinical awareness of the specialties who come into contact with the complications of the disease. It would be very helpful if we had tools to assess quality of life and we could then look to make sure that the things we did for our families really did maximise the quality of life and making sure that uh, they were being effective. I feel that I can manage it with the diet, but I know a lot of families, it's, it's a huge struggle to get kids to take formula. I hope for their sake there's, a cure would be wonderful, but management that's more realistic, um, that, that's my, my whole hope.